Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a Philly cheesesteak the cheap and easy way. Oh yeah, baby. Right there is one small onion chopped up, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil on it, and uh, get her to cook it. And then to that I'm going to add out of my garden fresh one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper. Okay, and gardens are fun this time of year. Stuff's starting to come in, you know. <laughs> All right, here now I'm going to add me a little more salt and some pepper. Squirt a little more olive oil on it. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to add me a hot pepper. Now that would be totally optional. Okay, that's what we call a a yellow hot. I don't know if y'all ever heard of one, but they're really good. Anyway, we're going to cook these down now. We're going to fry it up and get it looking just about like that, where everything's nice and cooked. Put it in a bowl, and then in the skillet, same skillet, I want you to come in with some deli meat. This is roast beef from your local deli. You can use it. And boy, is it cooked already. And all you got to do is splash it a little bit of olive oil on it. All right, move it around real good. It starts heating up real quick, no problemo. I mean, we're talking, you know, four or five dollars a pound. There's about a half teaspoon, or well, it was a whole teaspoon of garlic, granulated jar garlic. I told you it was cheap and easy. And then, when you get this stuff nice and warmed up real good, like you want it. I want you to add a little bit of your peppers in there and then throw some provolone cheese slices from your deli in there. I mean, we're talking on top of a little stove anywhere and make this sandwich. This one is easy and super delicious. If you can find ribeye slice like that and pre-cooked in your deli, get that instead with this roast beef. Oh man, it works great. As you can see, you just move your old cheese and everything around. I do this for each individual sandwich, you know what I mean? Because some person may like one, you know, spicier than the other or whatever. So you get the cheese good and melted on your uh, meat, just like so. And then I take it to a little wheat bun, put it on there, add me some my sweet and red and hot bell peppers on there. And you know what, folks? There you have a super quick, super easy Philadelphia cheese steak with the grease and everything that's involved. You know what I mean? Delicious, delicious sandwich. And very versatile. You can put any kind of peppers in there you want. If you want to fill it full of jalapenos, oh, use a different kind of cheese. Oh, yeah. All right, baby. Well, hey, folks, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you make it, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.